Hi guys, Joe from Prepper in the Woods here. Um, I did shoot a really nice video, but um, my computer is messing up a little bit and the audio was crap. So I'm reshooting it now inside because it's raining outside. Um, I'm putting together a bushcraft belt system. Um, so I want to ask everybody's opinion on it because um, I don't use a belt system normally. Normally I'm just backpack and that's it. Uh, I bought some items off Ron Swanson or the Fox Workshop who has great craftsmanship. Um, the stuff's gonna last you ages, so I bought one. I like it so much. I bought another two items off him, and they're really, really nice items. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I'll put links to his Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel uh, description box below. Um, also, I put some pictures up on my Facebook group, Prepper in the Woods, so check that out as well. But um, I'm gonna show you the pouches and then what I wanna add on to it. Um, and then in the end, I'm gonna show you everything together. And then you can let me know if I should take some stuff away or add stuff or I'm missing something. Um, the things I didn't show I should have add, added on to it in the end was um, the water filter. Uh, I have a Sawyer Mini and some water tablets. But other than that, I think it's, it's pretty well-rounded. But let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching, guys. All right, so this is one of the pieces I bought off Ron um, from the Fox Workshop. Uh, Ron was doing leather since he was 13. Um, so he, he knows his stuff. Alright, there's his little album there. His little Fox logo. I mean, the loops are nice and thick on that. I'm not going to come off. It looks really nice. I mean, you have the bone, uh, the antler there. It's quite, it's a deep. Very nice stitching all around. It's just a good size. I mean, it's a really good craftsmanship here. But that's one of them. So this is the second one I got off him. And you can see all the detail in it. Again, there's his mark of his work. Very strong straps there. Very fine stitching all across. And um, even down to the toggle, um, you could tell that it's just very detailed work. Now, I, I purchased this one because of the sides here, it's expandable. So I'm thinking maybe tinder pouch for this one. I'm not sure yet with what to make what yet. But again, really deep pocket there, so it's not a small one. Um, I'm trying to do this behind the camera so I might fumble a little bit here. But yeah, again, really nice work, very well detailed, very well made. That's the second one. And then the third one I bought off him. Alright, so the third one I got off him is his ferro rod here. So very nice. Uh, again, well made, always works well made. I'm going to just keep saying that. Right. So you got antler handle, very nice, generous size ferro rod there. That's not a small, cheap and cheerful Chinese one. That's a massive ferro rod. I have a large hand there and that's just to show you idea. Um, I like the locking system on this. It's quite nice as well. Um, the sheath itself here. There's this little mark again. But again, it's just really good uh, craftsmanship. So, very happy with that. So those are my three items that so far that I'm going to use on a belt system for bushcraft. Now the next few bits are from RJ Bushcraft and just little bits and pieces that I had laying around which that's a little pouch from RJ. I can add that one because it has a belt loop on it as well. I have this tinder pouch which can go into one of them so not to make the mess go anywhere else. Just keep it in one spot. I wanted to include a small notebook uh, just for taking some field notes. And this is another fire kit I got from RJ. Um, it has the strap in the back for a belt. But I just liked it because it has the tin in it so I couldn't do some chalk cloth in there. Uh, it's quite a compact one. But also I, I can get everything in that one so which would free up that one. Right, so some add-on pieces I like to bring will be my Leatherman Wave. It has a saw on there and two blades, which might be handy. That's my wheel I use for my um, bow drills. 
This is a little um, divot tool from uh, RJ Bushcraft. So you have a wedge here, bow drill bit there, which I want to try. Um, and then I have a small knife sharpener. My hook knife from RJ Bushcraft. And then for cooking, because um, the weather we're having is a bit dodgy um, cooking on the ground. Except for today, because it's raining today. But uh, Bushcraft Essentials, uh, Bush Box. Um, that one so I can cook on the stove. Now for my light I'm going to use a um, LED lenser one has a belt on it so I'm going to use that one on my belt and so it does a really good beam out. I'm going to bring some fat wood with me and this is my um, flint and steel set. I put it in this because I didn't want my flint cutting up um, the nice pouch or anything else really. Um, for cooking I'm going to stick with the Pathfinder cook set. Um, I have this one here. But that one seems to be a bit big for me because um, I usually go solo. Um, the bottle is great and then I use a handkerchief. Again, you can tell um, for cooking. Um, so I could just boil water in one and cook in the other really and just keep it that way. But I don't uh, go out with too many people. So. But so far, that's my kit. I'm going to put it all together now and then show you an overview and then you can say which would you add, not add, or what I'm what missing. All right, so I nearly forgot. Um, I'm going to use my army poncho as my uh, shelter for a cover and to wear it. And then that'll keep me out of the rain fine. A lot of these little bits will fit into the pouches. So it looks like a lot, but it's actually not. Um, Knife wise, I nearly forgot that one too. It's in a bushcraft bag. Let me just grab that. Nearly forgot. That's my knife of choice. Um, that's the Puko. Very nice knife. Nearly lost a the cat there. But yeah, very nice knife. So, those are my options. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. If I'm missing anything or not. I mean, I could add the water filter, water tablets, all that kind of stuff, but then it's slowly going to turn into a survival bag. So, um, I'm trying to keep it lightweight. But, um, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section. Also, I have to da a tag Prepper Dell in this one. See if you set a bag up for uh, something similar for a waste bushcraft waste bag. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.